Number two, show that when SI units for Musabo and Isabo are entered, the units given by the right-hand side of the equation in the problem are meters per second. So basically, using this equation, let's show that the speed of light is equal to meters per second. Uh, meters per second. All right. So this is just simply equal c uh, is equal to one over then the square root. Now I'm not going to plug in the values. Instead, though, I'm going to plug in their units because this is a unit problem, right? So this is going to be Tesla meter, Tesla meter per amp multiplied them by coulomb squared per newton meter squared so now all i'm going to do here is i'm not going to keep rewriting this but i just got to simplify this you know uh part under the radical so remember that tesla is a measure of magnetic field we have magnetic field that comes up in this equation that force is equal to you know qvb sine theta the sine theta is unit less but we realize that the magnetic field here qv qv so the force in newtons divided by the charge in coulombs v, uh, v is velocity meters per second that's and let me just leave it actually in terms of v for now and that's going to be equal to then the magnetic field so this is actually a unit for tesla so this what i'm going to do is going to plug in for t all right because magnetic field is the value of tesla so this is a newton per coulomb times velocity multiplied then by meter all divided now by amp now, amps are known as coulombs per second, right? That's current. Current is the change in charge per the change in time. So that's coulombs per uh, second, All right? So I'm going to write that in now, coulombs per second. So that takes care of that side. Then it's going to be multiplied now by coulomb squared over then newtons times meter squared. Let's just see what we can simplify now, all right? So if we now were to uh let's say I'll, I'll combine these two on the top right so that's really newton meter All right let's just move that over clean that up a little bit and then what i can do is multiply this numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator so i can just simply take seconds over then coulombs so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to erase this on the bottom just trying to clean it up a little bit all right and we start noticing that now like if i start combining this stuff and maybe what I'll do is I'll expand on the velocity now. So velocity here is going to be meters per second. And since this is in the denominator, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, um, flip this, right? So if I flip it now, it's going to be meter here on the bottom, seconds on the top. So meters on the bottom, and I'm going to put a seconds on the top. All right. So now we can start combining some stuff. So then... Uh, this would become on the top, it would be Newton's meter seconds squared over Coulomb's meter, Coulomb squared basically, because there's two Coulombs, and that's going to be then multiplied by Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. All right. So why don't we now start taking a look at how these units are going to uh, uh, cancel. All right. So we start noticing that the Coulomb squared will cancel, these meters will cancel, the Newtons will cancel. And what we're basically left with now is we're left with seconds squared over meters squared all right so now that's what this whole thing on the bottom comes out to be so now we have that the speed of light is equal to one over the square root of seconds squared over meters squared right blah 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 this is one over now seconds over meter take the reciprocal of this and that's meters per second all right there you go guys thanks so very much for tuning in. i appreciate it hopefully this helped and i look forward to helping you with more problems take care